Methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or MRSA, may be found in the nasal cavity and on the skin of healthy people. Generally, carriers of this kind of bacteria do not show symptoms. However, the bacteria may occasionally cause diseases. Doctors may prescribe topical decolonization therapy for patients with confirmed infection as appropriate. The Center for Health Protection, the CHP, will also contact you for an epidemiological investigation and offer decolonization products to your close contacts, such as household contacts, boy girlfriend and caregiver. All family members of the patient are advised to receive decolonization therapy as soon as possible after the wound of the patient has recovered to reduce the risk of infection. The first step in decolonization therapy is to immediately use the decolonization products provided by the CHP, namely the 4% chlorohexidine gluconate liquid soap and 10% providone iodine ointment. The decolonization lasts for five days. Apply the liquid soap to the whole body during these five days and leave for one minute before rinsing. Remember to apply to the whole body daily and wait for one minute. On days one, three, and five, apply the liquid soap as shampoo to hair and scalp. Leave for one minute as well before rinsing. If the liquid soap accidentally gets in the eyes or nose, promptly rinse thoroughly with water. If you experience allergic reactions, stop using the products and seek medical advice immediately. Moreover, never use them with soap. Please also note that hydrochlorite bleach may cause brown stains that develop on clothing if it has been in contact with the liquid soap. Besides using liquid soap, apply ointment in the nostrils. Apply ointment two times daily for five days as well. Squeeze a small amount of ointment on a clean paper towel or gauze first. Then apply an amount of ointment, about the size of a match head, into each nostril. Cotton swabs may be used to assist the application. Next, close the nostrils by pressing the sides of the nose together using the thumb and index finger. Then massage the nostrils by moving the fingers back and forth to spread the ointment evenly inside the nares. You may feel the taste of the ointment at the nasopharynx and the throat after application, which is normal. Remember to apply two times daily for five days. The prescription is specifically for this decolonization therapy only. Do not save the unfinished ointment for future use once this decolonization is completed. Finally, providone iodine ointment is not suitable for those who are allergic to iodine or providone, currently have or ever had a thyroid problem, currently having lithium therapy, children under two years old, pregnant and lactating women. Besides, the two decolonization products mentioned above are for external use only. Remember to keep them out of reach of children. Please visit the CHP website for the latest health information.